So within the last month, I've been basically enslaving myself in work, doing work nonstop. I literally took a three day trip and drove 1000 miles and stayed in three different states in three days. All of that was so I could get the moolah to pay for the books in this video and also pay rent. But anyways, welcome. My name is Atrocious or Jake and call me whatever. And today we've got the month of April manga haul. Now, although I was super busy with work, I was able to find actually a lot of good deals and catch up on a lot of series, find a lot of volumes that I were missing, especially finding some really interesting things that I didn't know that I'd be able to find. And overall, I'm kind of excited for what I have to show you. Also, I had to get a new bookshelf so that I could put manga on it i have a problem now first off i'm going to be talking about volumes that were in release for the month of april or at least at the end of march too you know just depending on shipping and stuff but starting out we have comey can't communicate volume 18 now if you know me i absolutely adore this series i talk about it in every single manga haul video that has a comey can't communicate volume it's just incredible i absolutely love it if you love rom-com you love slice of life this is an excellent shonen series in my personal opinion and one that i mean if you don't know it by now and you're following anime manga i guess you're living under a rock maybe because the second season of the anime is currently airing right now on netflix and i've been hearing just great things about it. i haven't seen it myself because i don't have netflix but i read this volume earlier today and it does not stop being fun in my opinion through 18 volumes of the series it's one of my favorites of all time and i absolutely love it i can't wait for for more so this next one is actually a super super special one to me this is the case study of vanitas volume four now i love this series it may not be the most perfect story or anything like that but in my opinion this has some of the most brilliant art in any manga that i own at this point the art is absolutely beautiful the panels and whatnot are so well drawn and artistically made it's so beautiful this was the only volume that i needed in order to get complete in the series up to this point i believe there's some chapters in the manga that hasn't been released in english yet or printed in a volume format of the manga so a wondering and excited when the next part of Vanitas will come. I also heard that volume eight did not end the series because I believe season one of the anime went farther than volume eight of the manga. And season one of the anime didn't end as if the series was over. So I'm super excited. I'm very, very happy to pick this up. Now I can continue reading all of the volumes even though I've seen the anime so I know exactly what's gonna happen. Anyways, I love Jean as well. <laughs> now, next up is actually a surprise. I had no idea that this was going on sale until like the day after it released. I just noticed another friend got it so i was like oh i'm kind of interested in that because i've heard different things about this series it is the first omnibus volume of darling and the frogs now this is comprised of volumes one and two now i know that this is an anime and in the anime there are some people unhappy about the ending but overall for the first 90 percent of the series they hold it to a high regard now i don't know too much about this series aside from well just a couple testaments but this is kind of like a seinen mecha anime there is a parental advisory warning explicit content i will not flip through this book because i know there are some you know what i mean but i've also heard that in the manga series which is finally coming to the united states and in english has actually a different ending than the anime and so hopefully you know i mean i can't compare it to the anime because i haven't seen that yet but hopefully it's a little bit better for those of you that do enjoy darling in the franks 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 brunks i don't know but anyways i've heard some good things about it i'm excited to try it out why not see if it's good and you know hopefully it gives a good story now one that i can tell you all about though and highly encourage any shonen fan to read is kaiju number eight 
Volume 2. Now, you may have heard me talk about the Kaiju number 8 series, whether that's in our Discord, that is free for anyone to use if you click the link in the description below, on Twitter, or anywhere else, really, even in a YouTube video. I love this series. I've read all the way up to the chapters that are currently released on the Viz Media app because I have this subscription. And let me tell you that this is the next big Shonen series. Like, this is one, especially if it gets an anime adaptation, which... Oh my God, if it does, I'm gonna blow a gasket. It's gonna be so good. This series does an incredible job with its mix of shonen action, but also very lighthearted comedy. Through the 60 some chapters that I've read in this series that have been released up to this point, it does an excellent job mixing all of these different things together. It's very well paced. The art is astounding. It has some of the most beautiful, like two or whole page panels that I've seen in especially shonen. I'm going to be honest, I prefer my manga to be more lighthearted, slow, slice of life type of deals. But Kaiju number eight in terms of an action series has just captivated me entirely. It's that good. This next one, you may have heard me talk about it, is my most recent obsession in terms of like romance series. I got the final volumes I needed to be up to date on Call of the Night or volumes three, four, five, and seven, having already owned one, two, six i want to make a video about this series in a future date but i absolutely am enthralled by this series it's a it's wide array of excellent characters it's very interesting storytelling and also just a fantastic job in the art as well i absolutely love the art that kotoyama has done in this series it's one that now after volume seven is starting to pick up a little bit of steam i mean not that there was wasn't steam already things are getting spicy we're starting to figure out a little bit more of the characters that we love and i absolutely cannot wait for volume eight like i i'm, uh, I'm debating on trying to find it online <laughs> this is an excellent series that i kind of connect with personally again i would love to do that in a video let me know in the comments if you'd love to hear me talk about why i love this series so much and go a lot more in depth about why it's so good waifu i mean that's not the real reason why i would love it that's just like the the cherry on top next i got the newest release of the number one anime of spring 2022 or what i assume is going to end up being the number one anime of spring 2022 it is the seventh volume of spy family now i think people got this early last month in march i believe but me being someone that has to almost exclusively buy online right now i didn't get this until like the other week which fine by me i've already read all these chapters online and also in the next series that i'm going to show you so it's totally okay by me but anyways this is probably definitely like my top two manga i absolutely love spy family i've been on the train not forever since it released but i've been keeping up with all the chapters according to my anime list i started reading this on november 3rd online and so i've been around for a long long well not really a long long time but long enough before the anime came out but either way it is not too late to jump on this train i think right stuff anime just ended a sale that included all seven of these volumes but i believe all seven of these volumes recently got in stock all at the same time you may have seen me post that news in my discord server but my point being you could probably find a lot of these volumes in circulation at your local barnes and noble online retailers right stuff anime uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. but anyways this is so worth the read whether you're a shoujo person whether you're a shonen person whether well seinen i don't know if you prefer seinen there's not really Really any sane and stuff in here but i think it's funny enough and i think it's good enough that you're gonna like it but anyways if you see something in my manga haul that you enjoy make sure to click the link down below it's a new right stuff affiliate link i'm affiliated with right stuff anime it's my online shopping extraordinaire most of the stuff that i buy online in terms of anime manga volumes dvds figures things of that nature all come from right stuff anime i'm a member there i i love the site i've never really 
really had any problems, even though they're a little bit backed up in terms of shipping. Stuff always gets me on time. I never have any issues and it comes in a quality condition. If you want to support the channel for free, but also get your weekly manga hauls, check out my link down below. Now, if we want to talk about a good story that I personally thought was Seinen at first, but it's a Shonen Jump series, so it's Shonen. I think Seinen people would like this series. It is Chainsaw Man Volume 10. Now, if you don't know about Chainsaw Man and you've never heard of Chainsaw Man, let me tell you, this is the other one of my top two favorite manga up to this point at right now. I've read this entire part one, part one being the first 11 volumes of the series online on the Viz Media app, which again, I have the subscription for, and I cannot wait for part two coming out later this summer. I'm gonna be up to date on it. We can go over part two when it comes out, where we think it's going, what, how, uh, we could talk anything about it, but I love this series. I'm so excited as well for the anime to come out in the fall. I think it's the fall. Tatsuki Fujimoto has done an incredible job. I also read uh, Goodbye Airy, which I'm actually including in a video here soon, and we can talk about it in another video. I, I don't know. Let me know if you want to see any of these videos. I mean, work is about to get a lot easier for me lately. So thank goodness I can spend more time reading manga and enjoying and making more content as well. Because right now, a lot of the content has just been monthly manga hauls. I'm sorry. I need health insurance. Next up on the release list is the first volume of Sakamoto Days. Now, this is a beloved series. I've heard a lot of people hype up this series for its comedy, its action, its storyline especially when the series first started being translated online. Personally, I haven't gotten around to reading this yet because, well, work, but it is on my list of manga to read here very soon because before you know it, volume two is going to come out. This is a cool series. I've seen some of the panels of the art in terms of the online versions, and I will say it's intrigued me enough, especially with its premise as well about an old retired is it assassin hitman retired but kind of back in the business now per se to protect some people like i, I kind of love it there's a lot of stuff that they can use off of that to build in terms of comedy action different scenes things like that i'm very excited for this series let me know if you like it. Now, the next one I got here is Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro, Volume 10. Now, you may be thinking, Jake, you just got Volume 10, and you know what? You're right. I ordered this back when it released in, I think it was like February. <laughs> like, literally the day before that it was releasing, I ordered this online, and uh, it got delayed. And it got delayed again. And I got another email saying that it was delayed, which is totally okay. I get it, it happens, but I literally just got this. Like, I'm not kidding. I just got this like last week and it's just great. I love Nagatora. I love the story. I love the anime. It's a beloved series to me. I love the characters and how they're growing, connecting, kind of building each other up even as well per se in some of the storytelling of this series. It's funny. I like it, it's super enjoyable, it makes me realize that I'm single, and also just is a really fun time. I really like it. Now, up next, we have the fifth volume of Data Live. Now, I love the Data Live series, and I've very much enjoyed the light novels or the original source material. It is ongoing still, I believe. And in Japan, there's been, I think there's like 18 or so volumes right now. It's crazy how long the series is. The fourth, fourth, third? There's a season of anime going on right now. I'm actually watching it. And you may have heard me say some of my things on Twitter about this series, which are kind of interesting in my opinion. I think it's a new animation studio as well taking over the project. So it's very curious of how they've done things. The story is very interesting though, as always. I mean, well, I like the characters in the story. The method is kind of the same of making the spirit fall in love with Cheeto and you know, but I, I like the different characters in the series. Like I like these twins. So I'm excited to get into this volume to see kind of the storytelling, the actual words to envision the whole thing in my mind. That's what I love about kind of reading the source materials of the series, especially the light novels when I've already seen the anime, because it gives me a new perspective and allows me, especially through good storytelling, to re-experience those emotions that I felt watching the anime. Very interesting series 
series, especially if you like kind of trash harem, this is up there. And you know me, I love trash harem. And now we have the much controversial Peach Boy Riverside. Now, not actually controversial, it's just I think it's controversial because the anime you can click the video up there anyways we are still we are getting closer to the point of the series where i have read so i've actually read this part this volume already i really really like the manga i think the manga is very well done i think the art in it is fantastic and i love the fantasy aspect of the storytelling and the mystery that is kind of the main characters of the story just don't watch the anime because then you won't really like it but anyways i'm super excited this is volume six hopefully i can get the next couple and start reading this series actually again because uh let's see yeah 23 chapters and i'm still ahead in terms of what i was able to read online and what season one covered but anyways if you're looking kind of for a fun pickup something that a lot of people aren't really talking about this could be one of your choices i've also seen peach boy riverside a lot at physical retailers like barnes and noble and stuff you could probably find this at most of your like bookstores that have good manga sections speaking of anime that kind of threw a loop in terms of the story that the source material provided we have the detective is already dead volume three this is the light novel series the original source material light novel series and Actually, I haven't read this yet. I, again, I'm a little bit behind in my reading backlog, but I like this series in terms of the light novels. I think the light novels are very fun. It's a psychological aspect to it all too. The way that they kind of envelop the storyline is very, very interesting. I love Siesta here. She's great. She is the detective and I cried if you can put two and two together. But anyways, I love this series. I think it's going in a good direction in terms of its light novel source. And I think season one of the anime actually leaves off before this volume starts. So everything I read in here is going to be brand spanking new information, new experiences, new reactions in my personal opinion. And I'm excited to get going on this. Also, the manga has been releasing of this too. So if you're interested in a manga version of this series, although I don't know if it goes in the order of the anime or the order of the light novels. So I mean, if you want to read the series and you like light novels, this is what I recommend. So now we have Tensura Slime 13. Now, I actually love the covers of Tensura Slime. I don't know. I just like it's very hard to explain. It's not like glossy or anything, but it's like it's not matte either. But the covers of this, even the backs as well, like whatever this material is, I absolutely love. I love holding Tensura volumes in my hand of the light novels, which is what I have now. Also, this is a really thick light novel, honestly. This is almost 400 pages of Tensura Slime. I absolutely love this series. I'm starting to get more and more because the next couple volumes releasing in Japan are going to be closing the series. So I'm trying to get ahead and get all of these. Now, I think I only need two or three more volumes left in order to be up to date on the series and have all the volumes up to 13. So very excited where the series continues to go, especially once we hear more about like the anime movie that is going to be coming out i believe in 2023 it's coming out or late 2020 one of the two anyways this is a great series if you love shonen action if you love kind of political stuff as well so like any sort of political anime i guess you know where someone rules over a kingdom and they have to make actual political decisions the shonen in this the action is absolutely insane it's actually really really good I highly recommend it the manga is coming out in box sets as well so if you want the manga version go get the first tensura slime manga box set and if you don't know what tensura slime is it's that time i got reincarnated as a slime i just say tensura because that's the japanese name for it and it's the shortened version and it's way easier to say. So now we got another one that delayed several times before it got to me. It's Blue Period Volume 6. Now, I really, really like the Blue Period series. Also, Yamaguchi, isn't that, um, isn't that Yatora's name as well? I can't remember. But anyways, at least from an outsider's perspective, this is a really cool series about art and learning about art. I think that this is also a really good series about if you want to 
start something new, you wanna start a new hobby, you wanna start a new practice, things like that, or there's a dream that you wanna chase, a career that you wanna go, this is a great series because it inspires you to just jump into it, all right? It doesn't matter if you're late to the game in terms of joining or whatever, you know, just go in it, learn as much as you can, try your hardest, and that's exactly what this series embodies in general, not just art, per se, but a sort of message that everybody can get behind. You know, you can apply it to anything, any career, any type of schooling, education, any type of hobby as well. And that's why I love this series so much in Blue Period. I thought the anime adaptation was pretty good, but I think I personally prefer the manga and I still have yet to read volume six. Again, backlog, you can check out and subscribe for the next video that's coming out on the channel. It's gonna explain why I have a backlog of anime and manga, but it's worth the reading in my opinion it's very very cool i'm excited for a next season here soon because i believe volume six is past the first season of the anime and i hope to have more fun adventures of yatora so now we have my guilty pleasure part 73 rent a girlfriend volume 12 so i actually haven't read volume 12 yet because i just read volume 11 again the next video is going to tell you and talk about my opinions of volume 11 but i absolutely love the rent a girlfriend series i don't care if i'm super super farther than the anime i love this series reggie miyajima has done an incredible job of making me love a series laugh and cry well i i don't think i've cried during this series but i've also felt incredibly awkward in this series you know renting a girlfriend is a service that especially in the united states we don't really know about i guess that's just like cheating exes or something like that anyways no shade there but rent a girlfriend is a cool series in my opinion i absolutely love it kodansha has done a great job printing this in my opinion i love sumi as well sumi is best girl in my opinion i will die on this hill you can have an opinion of somebody else but it's wrong but anyways this is a cool series i think it's also considered harem maybe you'd have to double check on that but it's very very cool i can't wait to read this soon because i want to keep reading it as i don't want to get behind on the volumes because well it's an easy manga to read in my opinion i always finish it in one sitting because it's that good i keep reading but i hope if you check it out you also enjoy it if you want to check out the anime too the anime is also very good in my opinion also you're not supposed to like the main character i think although he's he's kind of growing on me a little bit so now moving on to the finds or things that i did not expect to find in the wild and came back in stock or something like that first we have volumes three and four of kaguya sama love is war now i absolutely love this series i've talked about this series before it's one of the funniest rom-coms especially in terms of anime that i've ever seen and i haven't checked out the manga yet in terms of reading it because i just started collecting it very recently but it's so good in my opinion it's so funny i absolutely love it there's also i also just watched a cory wadden cory wadden cory wadden video about the the doujin version in an official spin-off doujin version and <laughs> it's kind of funny this is a really really good series it's so funny if you're looking for just a light-hearted kind of rom-com slice of life thing about you know just psychological students battling each other all the time and just quick punches in terms of jokes like super super quick anyways go check out this series i absolutely love it i also just realized that case study of vanitas volume 4 wasn't a new release i just got really excited being able to have that volume so i showed it to you but anyways the next one that i have here volume 5 of is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon or i'm gonna call it don machi the shortened version again with kind of the trash series this is my book beloved trash this is the highly regarded absolutely love adore will die for trash like i'm talking as mother's basement would say three dumpsters full of sephora perfume lit on fire along with some glitter it's a beautiful mess and especially with the greek fantasy lore i absolutely love it that much more now this is volume five there's kind of like two parts of the manga series that you'll kind of see me show on this video. There's this, and then there's the second part, Don Machi 2, which the second volume is releasing in the month of May. So expect it in the next haul. But I absolutely love this series. I'm glad that I can continue getting on. Is that dirt? I think there might be a little bit of dirt on this. I'm gonna have to... 
Or is that a print line? That actually might be like print stuff. I don't know. But anyways, I love this series. I absolutely adore it. Don Machi is just great in terms of its characters. I love Belle. I love Hestia. I love, ooh, man, I, man, I love that guy. And also A's. Oh gosh, there's so many good characters in this series. Highly recommend it. Now this next one is six light novels. Six light novels in a series. That was five. Imagine six fingers on my hand. But anyways, we're going to start off at the top. This is volume one of Mushoku Tensei. Now you may, I think I started collecting Mushoku Tensei last month because I saw some volumes in stock and there was a huge insert of volumes. I got six of them, I said, of volumes on right. So five of them, I believe, coming back in stock. So very excited i absolutely love the series it's one of the best fantasy adventure anime in terms of my opinion of the last couple years that i've seen and it's absolutely thrilling storytelling again the characters are just phenomenal it is so well written i don't know about the novels i'm gonna be getting into that soon but the world building and the environment building is just absolutely extraordinary and at least in the anime the music was also phenomenal it is truly a top level series and i highly encourage that you watch it be warned though there are kind of some graphic things in there so it may not sit well with some people totally understand if you don't like that but i highly encourage that you give it a shot especially if you love just good fantasy isekai i also got a couple more volumes along with that including volume five we have volume six we also have volume 10 oh my gosh look at her we have volume 11 and then also the new release volume 15 and so i've taking a stab at mushoku tensei volumes now i have seven in total so really bumping up this month in terms of mushoku tensei and i know i got a long way to go because let me tell you if there's a series that is not easy to start collecting it's mushoku tensei so i highly encourage if you're interested or you like the anime if you see it buy it because it may be the last chance we'll see it next we have moriarty the patriot volume two now i read volume one of this series a while ago and i thought it was really really good but for some reason i just didn't start getting more of the series not 100 percent sure why couldn't really tell you but i was able to find this at a bookstore they were having a sale when i was traveling one of the weeks and i needed one more volume i needed around like seven more dollars in order to get the promotional thing that was going on at the time and so i decided to grab this because this is not one that i've seen a lot of lately when it comes to online physical stores things of that nature but more already very very cool i think this is kind of psychological as well in shonen jump it's a very very cool series set back in way way beyond think like sherlock holmes and then think a little bit more evil and a lot more cooler so that is what you get out of moriarty the patriot i haven't read this volume yet but hopefully i do here soon and i have a friend who just hypes this series up so i should be able to get in terms of far in this series now the next one is one that i had no idea that i was going to get this is kind of my prized possession part of the haul if you will now this is kind of a reprint done by right stuff so it may not be impressive to a lot of you but finding the three volumes of cowboy bebop during a right stuff sale is phenomenal to me in my opinion i absolutely loved cowboy bebop watching the anime i know the impact that it's had on anime since it aired in i think it was the early 2000s late 90s somewhere around there Anyways, a long time ago, and just how beloved it is, whether that's the opening song of it. Dun -dun 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 this series is really, really good in my opinion. It's very fun. It's very action packed, and I'm excited to get into it in terms of manga form. I believe these are the only three volumes of the series. And again, this was reprinted by Right Stuff. I believe they got the rights to the series. And it kind of irks me how Right Stuff uh just uh, but anyways i'm gonna be showing off the front covers like on my bookshelves and stuff so 
you know what? I won't have to look at the sides, really. It's okay. But I really like Cowboy Bebop. If you haven't seen it, I believe it's on Hulu. You can watch it if you have Hulu. I actually, one of the only animes that I've watched it dubbed, I really like Spike's voice. Is he's a hot man but anyways i absolutely love this series highly recommend it especially if you love classic stuff the old good stuff cowboy bebop is right up there something that is really really cool to have on your bookshelf in my personal opinion and i'm excited to have this now this next one i finally got to be able to get every single volume in the series completely up to date it is ari ferretta from commonplace to world strongest volume seven now this is a light novel series that has 11 volumes and the light novel is rated much much higher than the anime and season two of the anime actually just concluded very recently and i actually like season two there is more anime to go and i'm excited to take a gander into the light novel version to be able to find it in its izakai fantasy aspect it is a harem as well you know me and my trash harem animes she's cute but just a fun scene Series. If you haven't heard me say this before, think of the main character Hajime as someone I wish to have inspired when I was a middle schooler. It's very, very cool. I love the characters and how they interact with each other as well, especially the main character and the daughter. I think that's a very, very interesting interaction, especially compared to the other characters as part of the harem team. And overall, it's just a lot of fun. I'm also truly convinced because the anime was so rough around the edges, as we will call it that the light novels just have to be better, right? right right copium but one that i don't need copium for and i know it's going to be a great series is hell's paradise volume four now i happen to find volume four while browsing a physical retailer the other day and very very good in my personal opinion i have volumes one two and four up to this point and i've just gotten a sneak peek of what this series is actually about i believe it's 13 volumes in total it's officially concluded i believe and it's just so crazy it is so gory at times and it's so action-packed it's actually thrilling and i love this if you love something like chainsaw man you will also enjoy hell's paradise in my personal opinion uh i believe this also gets an anime this summer so very excited for that hoping to get more of the volumes before the anime starts airing because oh man people are gonna hype up this series to all hell anyways read hell's paradise it's great you'll like it you won't regret it now the last volume i have of this video is actually kind of a newer series light novel series that has started it is volume one of spy classroom now i believe there are two volumes out right now of the light novel series there is a third one on the way and i've actually heard good things about this series i don't really know much about it but i love spy i love action i love good storytelling and i've heard all of these things for spy classroom i can't remember if this is getting an anime or not as well but either way i'm excited to get into the series i keep saying i'm excited to get into the series i'm excited to get into the series and they're all like light novels i got a lot of reading to do good thing this summer i will be way less busy with work so that i can take more time to read these light novels but anyways highly excited to read this i can't wait to talk about it more in a future video so that i can give you a better understanding of if i like it if i don't like like it is it worth reading etc etc but before you leave this video i'm going to give you a little sneak peek because if you want to hear me talk about some series and what i like about them at a quick pace i think it's like 15 or so series in one single video my next video is actually going to be a challenge that i did reading 30 volumes of manga in 30 days and there's a lot of series that i cover a lot of series that i read the next volume of my list in or start at the very beginning and tell you you know eight volumes in or so how i feel about it is it worth reading things of that nature so subscribe if you want to see that thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video next month's manga haul is going to be interesting i think there there might be a couple surprises here and there in there so i hope you stick around and see that there's also some videos here if you would like to see more i think you're gonna like them and i hope to see you again in the next video keep being a weeb